If you like this video and or take any enjoyment in playing Titanfall games, please give a like. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Optimize, aka Joe, and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about what is allowed and what is not allowed in Titanfall competitive custom games. It's only going to be about two minutes long. There's not too many things to not use, but I just don't want people to, you know, practice with something that isn't allowed and be bummed out when they get a sudden wake-up call. So, there's seven big no-nos, all right? Number one, no smart pistols. Smart pistols, no skill in aiming. You get instant reaction time simply because it's always locking on. I mean, the lock-on thing is like practically the size of your screen. So, no smart pistols. Huge no-no. Next two things, they sort of pair together. Satchels and arc mines, we don't use either of them. This is because a satchel, I mean, you can rig up an area where somebody is going to pull a flag and then just kill them while you're across the map, and that takes no skill. You literally only have to press one button to kill somebody. To kill them normally, you have to do press a lot of buttons. Simple as that. Arc mines, same thing. In fact, arc mines are a little bit more stupid than satchels because you don't have to press a button, you just put them somewhere and somebody walks on them and they die. <laughs> you know. We don't use both of the things for those reasons. Next thing, burn card. Huge, huge no-no. Burn cards give a huge disadvantage for the other team that isn't using burn cards. Burn cards are for people in public matches that feel undominant in a game and they want to, you know, sort of have an edge. You don't get any freebies in custom games. If you suck, you suck for that game. If you're good, you're good right burn cards or freebies for just doing whatever you want until they run out basically it so it's all based off of skill so no burn cards next thing we don't stim eject and you may, may be wondering what stim ejecting is i have a video that i made a long time ago it's like my second video i've ever made it's about backwards stim ejecting you can sort of get a feel of what it is with that I'm going to be making a forward stim ejecting video soon. To clarify, I'm not making it about pulling the flag this time. It's just simply going to be about the emotion of stim ejecting and getting across the map with that uh, manipulation of momentum that an eject gives you. It's not going to be about actually pulling the flag this time, so no worries. But basically, you get in a titan with the flag, the flag drops below you, and then you eject on top of the flag, and it flies with you. Basically it. And it doesn't take any skill to do that. Your hitbox gets screwed up, especially if you're using nuke. And overall, it's just a super newbie thing to do, and we don't like it. Last couple things here. Pay attention to what is happening in the Titanfall game. Are people dropping titans, or are they not dropping titans? We do a lot of games where we don't drop titans, and we do a lot of games where we do. Because we're sort of indecisive. A lot of people in the community go one way, a lot of people go the other way, because titans are a sort of debatable thing. You know, ask somebody, hey, are we dropping titans? If you notice nobody's dropping titans by like two minutes into the game, most likely they're not going to drop the entire game. So don't be that guy that drops them and ruins a custom match and throws everything off. Take a couple seconds just to figure it out. Lastly, we don't use Raider Pulse in competitive customs. It's pretty self-explanatory and I made it the last one to explain because it's pretty understandable. You can see through walls. But anyways, don't enter a custom game with literally all these in your arsenal and screw everything up. Practice without these things if you use them already. Practice without them, you'll be a better player, and I promise you'll be more self-reliant. Thank you guys, have an awesome day. Oh, and by the way, we hit a milestone. We got 200 subscribers, so I'm making a montage soon. Please pay attention to the channel and look for that. Thank you so much, and have an awesome day.